Hello friends, welcome back to the basic of C language tutorial series. By now, you have must executed your first C program as we have covered in our last video. If you have not, we suggest you to please check our last video. In this video, we will learn about the structure of a simple C program and how it is compiled before moving ahead to important concept of C language. Executing a basic C program is a very simple. All you have to do is code, compile and run and you will get the output. But to code a C program, you must know about the structure of a C program to get the desired output. A simple C program can have a different section like a documentation section, link section, definition section, global declaration section, function prototype declaration section, main function and at last user defined function definition section. While we should not worry about all of them as of now, but it is better to understand a few of them right away so that we have a better understanding of various statements used in a basic C program. Let's try to understand about this section in a program with the help of C program we have executed in our last video. Here is a basic C program with all the sections that we have listed in previous slide that contain documentation section, link section, global declaration section, main function. We have added comments to the program describing each section for better understanding. Oh wait, you don't know what the comments in the programs are? Well, the documentation section is nothing but the comments added to a program to explain the logic and step of the program. It is not at all compulsory to add comments, but highly recommended. Comments are used in this section to document what the program is about. Comments are plain text in a C program that are not compiled by the compiler and are used to explain what the program is for and how it is doing it. Properly added comments makes the program more descriptive and easy to understand. We can write the comments in two ways. The first one is double forward slash that is used to write a single line comment. And the second one is forward slash star star forward slash. The statement enclosed within this syntax are used to write a multi line comments. The next one is a link section. Necessary header files to execute a C program are included in this section. The next one is a definition section. Different variables are defined and value of them are set in this section. Next one is a global declaration section. Constants and variables that will be used throughout the program scope are defined in this section. The next one is a main function. Main function is used in every C program and it is the, the starting point of execution of any C program. It contains the declaration and executable section. The next one is a function prototype declaration section. Information of a function like function name, its written type and names of a parameter used inside the function are specified in the function prototype declaration. And last, a user defined function definition section. User can define their own function according to their requirements in this section. Do not worry about the function prototype declaration and user defined section. We will study about this in details when we will cover the topic of function in C. Now let's have a look at some of the most common syntax rules that you need to keep in mind and follow when you write a C program. C is a case sensitive language so all the C instructions must be written in a lower case. All C statements must end with a semicolon. White space is used in a C to describe a blank and of tabs. White space is required between the keywords and identifier. We will learn about the keyword and identifier soon. And at last C program should be saved with the .c extension. For example, firstproc.c or you can write any program name but the extension should be .c only. This figure describes all the rules that we have listed in our previous slide. Now, whatever we have covered so far in this video is right in front of your eyes as a program statement. So, it's relatively easier to understand about these things. But there are some tasks and process that happens in background inside the C compiler and we generally miss them. But not this time. Let's understand the flow of execution of a basic C program. I bet you are to know about the happens to a C program inside the compiler. As the step mentioned in front of your screen, the step one is create and modify. After that, compiling, linking and executing. At last, 
after completion of the all the process it will generate the output so let's take the first one create and modify we have already covered in our last video the step to create a c program using turbo c for that open a turbo c click on a file and then click on new create a basic hello world c program in the turbo c screen save the program using dot c extension save the file with dot c extension is called the source file and send to the compiler when you command turbo c to compile the c program second one is compiling click on compile or press alt plus f9 to compile the code before the compiler the source code goes through the preprocessor which returns the preprocessed code with all the header files added in the source code then the source code is given as an input to the compiler and the compiler converts it into the equivalent assembly code compiler checks for syntax error as well if the source code has any error compilation error is written once the code reaches the assembler the code is converted into the object file that is .obj the next step is error checking during compilation compiler will check for the errors if the compiler finds any error then it will report it in case of an error user has to edit it and correct error of the program after editing the program user can again start the compilation of the code if the program is error free then the program moves ahead for the further processing at any stage if any error comes user has to correct it to move ahead the step four is linking compile error free object file that is received from the assembler is given as an input to the linker the program is then linked with the included header files and other required libraries and the object code is converted into the executable code that is .exe in case of multiple object file all of them are linked together and executable file is generated at last execution during execution the executable code is loaded into the memory and executed if no error comes at the time of executing the code then we get the output if any error occurs while execution it's called a runtime error in which user has to review the code again edit it and repeat the whole process to get the output well now you understand how complicated the compilation and execution process is in the next video, we will move ahead and learn about the keywords and identifier in C language. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye. See you in next one.